All right, guys, tribute to Sinead O'Connor, right? Sinead O'Connor was great, right? She had been ill the last, I'm not sure how many years of her life, and she was suffering, and, you know, she posted videos, and I saw some of them. They weren't really putting her in the best light, but it was near her death. And uh, when, uh, we, we don't judge, obviously. We were very supportive. She had been a very hard, she had very, lived a very good life, but she had a very difficult time after ripping the picture of the Pope, right? So... People were very, very hard on her, right? So it was very tough for her. And she had been, I don't think she really ever overcame that. And uh, it really was a struggle for her, right? It's really tough for her. So she had passed away. We love her song. It was a good song. She did very well in the music industry. She was very good. You know, it's very sad to see someone go downhill like that when they were that good, right? But it happens, unfortunately. But. But there are a lot of celebrities that we can look up to that are doing very, very well, living the glam life, living the star life without any hitch, right? But remember guys, not like celebrities are great. Sometimes you watch a celebrity, you're like, wow, this is great. I love what they teach us. This is really good. I love it. I learned so much. They seem so good, They're this and that. But you have to also have intellectual pursuits or other things besides your social media, right? I will post like thousands and thousands upon thousands of videos but I have other hobbies and other things that I do that that make me more grounded, right? You can't just focus on being a celebrity all day. I mean, you can. And there's nothing wrong with that. But um, but yeah, like the world, the world, especially now, like every movie you see, everything you see. And I love celebrity. I love entertainment very, very much. But a lot of things right now are just way up in the air, and you're just like, wow, I can't believe this is how crazy things have gotten. And things are so expensive and all that, but you know, in general, to keep yourself grounded and to keep yourself real and keep yourself humble is, you know, starting with just a few changes in your mindset, right? Just making sure you're relaxed, making sure you know, you know, these things are far fetched, you know, these things are crazy, you know, these things are are unbelievable. So, you know, to remind yourself that remember there was a time that for me when I was a kid, I really enjoyed my life. I had fun, I was always doing fun things, I never had any stress, my parents took care of everything, right? And my parents really made me feel like I could do anything and I wouldn't be getting in trouble, right? Which I never did anything that bad, but I was very rebellious, right? So I was very lucky, right, to have a family and people, my parents were really good, right? And you can take that with you in your journey in life, right? When you're finding new people, you're finding people that love you, people that support you, right? Anyway, thank you.